Well, I, sp I suppose one could quote the, uh, the, the, the famous uh, Winston Churchill when he said, we, we shape the environment, then it shapes us. So I think it's a continuum. Uh, and that's kind of what culture is all about. Uh, it's a continuum until it achieves a plateau of tremendous accomplishment or tremendous failure. And then we either keep it or destroy it. But uh, I think we, we sort of spin up Affecting it's, it affects us, we affect it in a cyclical spin, and then we achieve certain plateaus that we cherish or destroy. Well, it's challenging in some ways, and in other ways, it's completely natural. I mean, the idea that you should be within one city or one country or one cultural artifact system is kind of archaic. Uh, you know, we're a world of city-states, we're, we're a borderless culture nationally. I mean, look at the financial world. Uh, so if, it seems to me if you can't be multicultural in your social and design dimensions, you're missing the boat. E if you're in one city, you should be multicultural. And that is a, look at New York, look at San Francisco. These are gateways to the world and the world to it. And so your design should reflect that on any site, in any environment. But once you do embrace that, it is an easy leap to do work and elsewhere in the world, in multiple nations, and to have multiple cultural talents, designers, planners, uh, embracing that idea in their work. So for us, it's come naturally. You, you start local, you grow national, you, gro you grow global, you then grow local again, because if you don't grow local again, you, you, you're missing it. You, you've got to translate that national, international sweep into a sensitivity about local, and you begin all over again in a design realm. Well, um, the politic of design is the human dimension. I mean, uh, it's about leader. It's not just about sort of elected politics or, or uh, the cliche of politics. It's about human power. And you know, design and and grand projets have been the fundamental way that power is expressed. So when you're doing a World Trade Center project or you're doing a redevelopment of the UN, uh, and you, and the project is going well or poorly, people want to be involved in it. They want to take credit for stopping it. They want to take credit for launching it. They want to take credit for achieving it. And, and the designer really is a, a, should be a political palette that allows all of the appropriate political powerful leaders to get on that bandwagon and move with them. That means that the design is, success, is a success. So don't be afraid of politics. Encourage it, roll with it, and, and, and your design will become inspired by the political uh, lifting of, of the work. Well, I think, I think it is a transformational period. I think it's exciting. I think part of it is that we're in a gap. We're not sure how to get over the gap. We know what's out there. It's, we can't quite see it. It's, uh, it's like uh, we know we have to leave the shore, but, and, we have to, and it's not about worrying about the shore we're leaving from a design or environment point of view. It's about looking for the land we can't see yet. And this is the geo design challenge, uh, we know that sustainability is a catch-all word that everyone puts everything into that bucket. We don't know exactly what it means, but we know that buildings are, buildings are destroying the environment as well as b building the environment. We know uh, transportation systems are doing similarly. We know the built environment probably contributes as much as 40% to, to uh, the deterioration of air quality and uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So we, 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 we also know that we have to, in the next 25 years, replace or remodel or build a new half the buildings in most countries. So we, we know we're on the edge of an enormous transformation, both physically, quantitatively, and spiritually, if you will. Uh, and we're, we're not ready to do it. We don't. We're almost ready to do it, 
and, and the people that are emerging to do this are going to really change the world in, in the next 25 years. Thank <laughs> you.